Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're bringing you guys episode number 21 of Hut Roulette. So, before we start a couple games, I just want to thank you guys in advance for the episode number 20 that I just posted out. Almost 700 likes on that video, which I like I wasn't even expecting. So, thank you guys so much. And because of that, I'm going to reward you guys with a three game episode for episode number 21. So, I hope you guys appreciate that. But we're going to get this game started and uh, before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of a team update. And I know what you're thinking. The team is looking a little bit different, but I, I really want to change up the lineups because I want to Boyle back on my first line, giving me a little bit more power. Because you guys know, Brian Boyle is one of my favorite players in this game, and I just can't have Mario Lemieux playing on my first line. Even though he is a very good player, I want him to play a little bit better on the second line because the Corey Perry and Ryan Getzlaff is just not a strong enough pairing. I've tried it before, and I, I just don't like it at all. So, this is the lineups I'm rolling with. So, Matthew Shane, Brian Boyle, and Jakob Borchek. We got a lot of speed, a lot of skill on that first line, and I want to keep it that way going forward with Hot Roulette. The second line is looking like Mario Lemieux, Ryan Getzlaff, and Jamie Benn. This line still has room for uh, improvements, but for right now, I want to put Mario Lemieux on the left side, and maybe he'll be playing better on the left wing than uh, Corey Perry at least. So, we'll see how he plays, as well as the third line, Corey Perry, Joe Sackick, and Zach Parise. Zach Parise is still a left-hander player, and Corey Perry is a right-hander player, so hopefully uh, these guys will set each other up, and maybe this line will be a little bit better than the Corey Perry and Getzlaff combo. So, also, the fourth line is looking like Claude Giroux, Ryan Kessler, and Rick Nash. Nothing has really changed with that, so we're just going to go right into the defense here. Cronwell, uh, Petrangelo as well. Then we got Carlson, Victor Hedman, and Ryan McDonough, and the Shattenkirk. And of course, we got uh, Pecorini and Net as well. That He also got a shutout uh, in my episode number 20, so that means we will put a plus 5 all on him for this game. But we're going to get this game started. Like I said, I, I think I said it already, we are on a 6-game win streak. We're trying to bring it up to a 7th, so... Uh, there's a lot of incentive to keep it going. So, we're back up to 900,000 coins. Let's get that first game started, and let's see how we play. Alright, so we're playing away for this game. I just want to apologize in advance. I have some different jerseys on for a giveaway I'm doing for Mike Medano, I guess. Uh, I had to take a screenshot of him in-game, so I had to put on the Dallas jersey. So, unfortunately, we're wearing a little bit of different jerseys here, but I want you guys to let me know, would you guys uh, want me to change jerseys? Oh... <laughs> Would you guys want me to change jerseys very often? I mean, uh, I mean the Vaxio jerseys are pretty nice, but I wouldn't mind changing it as well. And already we we're losing one to nothing. I know I didn't commentate over that, but anyways, we're gonna get uh, going here. Let's stop talking. Oh Lemieux! Oh my goodness! What a tip! That was a rocket of a shot, and Jamie Benn, I think it's the Dallas jerseys, guys. <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're back one-to-one, -one, tied back up. Let's keep it going now. Oh my goodness, Jakob Borchek with that speed. The 96 gaining is pulling off, so we make it two-to-one in this game. Let's keep it going, guys. Jesus, getting two quick goals. Sauce it all the way through. Go Lemieux. Take him out. There it is. Go. The double backhand. You already know what's coming. J Mario Lemieux scores us a goal. That was a pretty nice one too. I think it really is the jerseys. Alright, I'm going to say enough of that. But anyways, it's 3-1 to one now. Let's keep it up. Watch this. Brian Boyle. That's why he's on the first line. A slapper from the circle. And we make it 4-1. to one. That's my own lamb chop slap shot right there. Anyway, let's keep it up. Oh, go Nash. You got a break. Score it. Oh, no. We can score on the breakaway with Rick the Dick. Our uh, Victor Hedman. Oh, no. The goalie saw it all the way. There's no way we're going to score that one. Hit him. There it is. Nice hit by Carlson. I love Carlson in this game for some reason. All right. Back pass to Jamie Ben in front of the net. Jamie Ben, keep going. Shoot. Oh, no. He couldn't score on his own goalie, Kari Lennon. Alright guys, so it's the end of the second period, and it does not look like he can get really get by my defense. 13 to 7 shots, 6 minutes time I've tacked it too. We have a pretty good passing percentage as well, so let's keep it up now. See if uh, we can get a couple more goals here. Go Carlson! He's got a break! 
Backhand! Oh, no, I totally messed that up, but still, Eric Carlson scores us one goal, making it 5-1. We're absolutely running away with this game already. Oh, he scores us. He scores a goal for him uh, with Hornquist. Uh, Patrick, right? Patrick Hornquist making it 5-2. to two. Anyways, uh, we gave him a goal, but it was a pretty lucky one. I'm not going to say that was a good one. All right, so that is pretty much going to end off this first game. We win of a score of 5-2 to two with these new jerseys that we're putting on. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the amount of shots we got, as well as the three stars. So a very convincing win, 5-2. to two. We got 19 shots to 15, 8 minutes time of attack to 4. We got a ton of breakaways as well, so we played a very good game. And let's take a look at the three stars. Mario Lemieux on that second line, producing a little bit for us. Jakob Voracek on the first line, scoring a goal and getting assists, as well as Victor Hedman getting two assists as well. So, anyways, we're going to raise that buy now minimum to 7,000, and also, um, I guess, choose the 19th player. Alright, so we're ready to go. The buy now minimum range has been set to 7,000. So let's choose the 19th player and see what we get. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Evgeny Malkin is going to be the next pickup on our team. A pretty sweet pickup if I say so myself. So let's see where he fits in and uh, we'll put him into the team. Alright guys, so we're back on our team, and as you can see there, Evgeny Malkin has been slotted into the first line. I did take out Matthew Shane, but I'm not going to think that he's not going to produce anything for me still. He's playing alongside with Ryan Getzlaff and Stanley Cup Mario Lemieux, so he's got a lot of opportunity to still score. As well as the third line, Jamie Benn, Joe Sackey, and Corey Perry. Maybe this line will spark a little bit of energy into my third line. Maybe. We don't exactly know. And the fourth line, Claude Drew, Ryan Kessler, and Zach Parise. And we did take a Rick Nash out of the team. So, this is the team we're rolling with with the second game here. So, let's get that second game going. Let's see how we do. Alright, so we're starting up this game. It's going to be the Dallas Stars versus Team Kazakhstan. I didn't know they had an NHL team, but we're going to get this game going. We're playing with Evgeny Malkin for the first game. I've actually never tried him out for... I don't think I've tried him out in NHL 15, so we'll see how he plays. And hopefully he produces a lot for us. Oh, right off the bat, Jakub Borchek with a breakaway. He's coming out. Oh, no. I thought I could just hold the puck and maybe just uh, slide by him, but it didn't really work. Oh, Boyle, he's got a break. Uh, there it is, the backhand. He pulls out his goalie. I decide just to go for the backhand shot. And we make it one to nothing very early off in the second period. So let's keep it up, guys. Oh, my goodness. How did he score that goal? I don't even know how Pecorini let that in. But it's now one to one. Team Kazakhstan scores him a goal. And uh, we got to keep it up. Got to score another goal back. Oh no, and he gets another goal. Definitely not a bad opponent. He's circling around my zone a little bit, so I'm going to change my defensive strategies. But it's now 2-1. to one. we got to get that goal back. Alright guys, so the end of the second period, and we're actually down by 1, so we got to play a little bit better. So let's take a look at the stats. 8-8 eight to eight in shots, 5 minutes time of attack to 4, as well as we also got one breakaway from the first period, but we need to score a goal right now. Oh, and that is going to be the end of our streak right there. There was nothing I could do at all. It's definitely a good opponent. So anyways, it is now 3-1. to one. I don't think we can really catch up now, but uh, let's tie him up. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. So good game to that guy, to Team Kazakhstan, um, winning that game. First loss in a while. So let's take a look at the amount of shots, and we have to choose a player to get off our team. Alright, so we lose to the Toronto Maple Leafs, 17-12 to 12 in shots, 8 minutes time attack to 6, so he definitely deserved to win that game for sure. Patrick Marlowe, uh, obviously all those guys are first stars, so anyways, we're going to be uh, going to random.org, I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so we're back on random.org, and I really wanted to check that guy's leaderboard, and I did figure out he was top 150 on Xbox One, which is a little bit unfortunate we had to face him in Hot Roulette, but nevertheless, it was still a very good game, I'm glad uh, we got to face him for sure. So, anyways, we're going to be copying and pasting this list into random.org, and let's cross our fingers, we don't choose something too good, so let's randomize and see what we lose, and it's going to be the second line right defenseman. I don't know who that is, but we're going to uh, go back to the team and see uh, where or who that player is. 
Alright guys, so we're back on the team, and this time around we didn't lose any forwards, and we're going to be losing our second line defender, and as you can see there, it's going to be Eric Carlson, unfortunately, one of my favorite players in Hot Real Life, but unfortunately he's going to be leaving the team, and uh, Pecorini is tired in net, so what we did was we threw in Sergei Bobrovsky into the starting goaltender spot, so I don't think we picked up any defenders any in any recent episodes, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to raise that by now minimum to just 50, and we're going to be choosing the 12th player, and uh, filling the that spot up with whatever we get so let's browse auctions put it the buy now range to 50 and let's see what we get I'm not looking forward to this at all so let's see so it's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Brendan Dubinsky is going to be the next pickup on our team I already have him in my collection so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna throw him to the team see where he fits in all right so we're back on the team and as you can see here Brendan Dubinsky is nowhere to be found on the offense, but he's playing in the second line defender spot alongside with Victor Hedman, which is not actually that bad. He's got a very good defender category, and he does have some chemistry with Sergei Bobrovsky. So we have to play with Brandon Dubinsky no matter what. So he does kind of fit in that spot very nicely. So anyways, we're going to get into the final game here. Let's see if we can get a defender for our last pickup. Alright guys, so we're playing back at home. Let's see who he has on his team. has got Connor McDavid, Taylor Hall, and Jordan Everly. Guess the Edmonton lineup for next year, I guess. So, anyways, we're going to get this game going. Let's see if we can uh, get a couple goals here. Oh my goodness, that was a nice shot. Come on, we need something to get... We need to get going here. Pass it down to Malkin. In front of the net! Four check! Oh no, he just misses the net by a little bit. Oh, and there is the first goal. We did poke it off his stick just luckily, and we do make it one to nothing in the dying seconds of the first period. So let's keep it up, and hopefully uh, we don't lose any goals here. Getting Malkin, get in there, get into the zone, cut across, shoot! Oh, nice shot, and just goes over the glass. All right, it's still one to nothing. We're playing good so far. Not much commentary because this guy's playing pretty good defense as well. All right, so let's see if we can score a goal right here. So let's lift the stick with the right stick. Lift it. There you go. And then let's see what we can do here. Mario Lemieux is open. Mario Lemieux is open. Yes! We score a goal. I called it two. And he shoots a top right cheese. I like that goal. Anyways, it's two to nothing now. Let's keep it up. Oh my goodness, he did a nice poke check right there. I cannot score that little breakaway, that mini breakaway. So, anyways, come on. Play some good defense here. Nice defense. Lemieux, get in front of that. Get in front of that. We can get a breakaway if we can just grab the fuck. Oh, uh, no. All right, he's getting some shots on it. Let's be careful a little bit. Play some good defense. There it is. Uh, and uh, puck chop it out. Oh, Jamie Ben, he's got a break. The oh, that's got to be a penalty shot. Alright, so we're going to be doing, of course, you guys know, and you know what, I'll try something different. We'll try the forehand, alright? The double forehand. Let's see if we can do it. The double forehand! Oh, uh, no, it didn't exactly work. I guess that's just the, uh, the backhand forehand, I guess, right? But anyways, still two to nothing. There's only a little bit of time left. Oh no, we actually pulled out the spinorama shot, but still, we get a penalty. But there's only 7 seconds left in this period. Let's see if we can end off with a shutout as well. Quick little stick lift, and just get it out. Get out of the zone! No! Okay, 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 we're good. There's only 2 seconds left. 1 second, and yep, that's going to be the end of this game. We played a pretty good game, if I say so myself. So, what we're going to do, check out the stats once again. So the Vax Joe Lakers beats the 2016 Edmonton Oilers, I guess. 20 and 13 in shots, 8 minutes time of attack to 6. We played a pretty good game, especially with all the amount of face-off wins we got. So anyways, we're going to raise that buy now minimum to 1,000. And we'll cho be choosing the 12th player. Alright guys, so we raised that buy now minimum to 1,000. We got a dozen shots that game, so let's keep it quick and let's see what we get. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Seth Jones. Actually not a bad pickup for sure. Uh, too, pretty close to Tuka Rask, but Seth Jones will fill in Brendan Dubinsky's spot very nicely. So let's put in Seth Jones into the team, see where he fits in. 
Alright, so there we have it guys, a pretty good ending to this episode, and as you can see here, Seth Jones has been placed playing alongside with Victor Hedman, uh, and I'm pretty excited to play with Seth Jones, obviously not one of the best defensemen in this game, but he's still 6'3", 200 pounds, and I haven't tried him out in NHL 15 yet, so I'm excited to try him out for the next episode of Hut Roulette, and that's just about it guys, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later, bye. Oh, beautiful goal. I knew he was waiting for the shot, trying to poke it off, but we do cut in the quadru, making it 4-1. Beautiful goal.